Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up, fear of chemical warfare in Syria raises its head. According to Depka file, Tehran released a report on Sunday accusing Syrian rebels of arming themselves with chemical weapons originating in Libya. The report sent shudders of alarm through Western capitals and Israel and fears that Tehran and Damascus were preparing the grounds for the Assad regime uh, regime rather to resort to chemical warfare to finally crush the rebels. Iran claimed any report released on the Syrian army's alleged use of chemical weapons is meant to pave the ground for the terrorists to use these weapons against the people and accuse the Syrian army and government of that crime. Three days earlier, on June 7th, Syrian rebel sources charged that the Syrian Air Force planes had dropped poisonous substances over Dara, Hama, and Idlib, which knocked people unconscious. This claim has not been verified. Second today, Christians killed in series of church attacks in Nigeria once again. According to the Telegraph, militants attacked two churches in Nigeria on Sunday at the first church. They sprayed the congregation with bullets, and at the time of this report, the number of people killed is undetermined. At the second church, they blew up a car in a suicide bombing injuring 41. There was no claim of responsibility. However, attacks on churches have become a trademark tactic of Islamist group Boko Haram, which says it is fighting to reinstate an ancient Muslim caliphate in northern Nigeria. Third, Cyber experts warn of intelligent weapons. According to the AFP, quick advances in cyber war technologies could soon lead to a new generation of so-called intelligent cyber weapons, which top global IT defense experts warn could be virtually unstoppable. In Taigu, IT expert at the uh, NATO Cyber Defense Center said, rapid developments in cyber technology might lead to intelligent cyber weapons that are hard to control and it's practically impossible to use formal methods of verifying the safety of intelligent cyber weapons by their users. He also warned that the programs developed to counter attacks by malware like Stuxnet can act independently and could possibly themselves spark conflicts. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready, please understand that you need to get ready. And here's how. First, please understand also that you are a sinner, so am I, and that you and I have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please understand also that because of your sins, you deserve punishment in hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. But there is, or rather, here is the wonderful news, the good news, the gospel. John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. May I encourage you to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior today, so that you can be ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you. you got to get your business straight.